The founder of eBay, Pierre Omidyar, created the world's biggest marketplace, and now he's trying to use his fortune and technology to improve the quality of life around the world. His Omidyar network just donated $55 million to provide people with information, technology, and services that can improve their lives and government transparency. He made this announcement just yesterday at the Clinton Global Initiative. He says technology is the key to making government more transparent. Here's part one of my exclusive interview with him. We're real believers in the power of technology to uh, create opportunity for people uh, around the world. And so we made two commitments at CGI. One was uh, $30 million for uh, technology for governmental transparency, really helping to uh, connect citizens to their, to their governments, create more transparency about government expenditures uh, and activities, uh, uh, both here in the U.S. Uh, and abroad. That's a $30 million piece. Mm -hmm. $25 million piece is on uh, um, creating opportunity through mobile technology. As you know, uh, mobile phones are you know, spreading like wildfire throughout the world. They're an incredibly empowering tool to connect people to one another and connect them to information. So applications like getting market pricing uh, for agricultural products, uh, doing agricultural education, healthcare applications, mobile financial services, these are all uh, very important technologies that can be built on this great platform. And so we've been involved in both of these areas, government transparency and uh, technology for development, for some time, but we're stepping up our investment and that's what we announced today. Is there a region of the world you'd really like to see this deployed? Right. Well, right now we're focused on uh, India and Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa especially. There's a lot of innovation going on in both of these regions and a lot of need, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we're just looking to support the entrepreneurs that are there. I think the important thing is we're looking for um, governmental transparency. And so, you know, there's always, uh, there, there's often uh, this debate, this tension between um, uh, individual privacy and, and transparency in general. What we're focused on is governmental transparency. When taxpayers are funding the bill, mm -hmm. taxpayers have the right to know how that money is being spent, for instance. Budgetary transparency is extremely critical. In researching the, the network, I was reading you and your wife have committed more than $900 million to your philanthropic efforts, more than $150 million to for-profit companies. Yes, that's right. So explain to me, do you see yourself as an angel investor here, or do you see yourself as a philanthropist? We really think of, think of ourselves as um, philanthropic investors. You know, and so we call Omidyar our network is a philanthropic investment firm. And the idea is we have this mission to create opportunity for people around the world. That's a mission that, that comes from my experience at eBay and seeing the opportunity that technology in particular had um, to create opportunity for people uh, as they came on and started using this technology. So the first mission is to create opportunity for people around the world. Whether we do it through supporting nonprofits or supporting the entrepreneurs who are creating these businesses that are serving people who are lifting themselves up out of poverty, for example, uh, we're indifferent to that. And so we have two checkbooks. We have the nonprofit checkbook as well as the for-profit checkbook. And in both cases, we, uh, when we invest, we look for uh, good returns, whether they are the financial returns from the, the, the private investments uh, or whether they are impact returns uh, from, from the nonprofit investments. Well, where are some of the places that you're finding opportunity right now in terms of the businesses that, that you've chosen to invest in on a for-profit basis? Yes. Well, I mean, one, one example would be um, a recent uh, investment in India. Uh, a, a solar lantern company uh, called uh, D-Light, and that was an equity investment that we made. Mm -hmm. They're making uh, solar lanterns for a very low price that's destined to you know, the low end of the market, people that have, no other, that have no source of electricity. And so right now they burn kerosene lanterns at night. And in order for the, the kids to be educated, in order for them to be able to have time to read and learn to read and do their homework, they need light at night. Uh, but they don't have electricity in these, in these villages. So a solar lantern is very important. It's something that can tr create you know, tremendous opportunity for them. That's, a, that's an example of a for-profit investment that will have tremendous social return as well as financial return, hopefully. Well, you mentioned eBay there. You are chairman of the company. You're still the company's largest shareholder. Mm -hmm. Why, when, when you look around the world, why doesn't eBay want to compete in the, in the domestic market in China? Oh, in China. Well, you know, we have, it's not that we don't want to compete. We have been, we have been in China, um, uh, and we are in there through a, a joint venture uh, at, at this point. Uh, as you know, China is a tough market for, uh, you know, every foreign company uh, that enters. And uh, frankly, when we first entered, we were uh, uh, quite beat up, I'd say, by, uh, by our local competition. The local folks really understood the market much better than the American company that was coming in. So we decided to restructure our strategy there and work through a, a local joint venture partner. 
So uh, that's what we've been doing over the last couple of years. When, when you look, though, at, at tapping into some of the developing world, mm -hmm. there seems to be uh, not a barrier to entry, certainly, but a barrier to success in terms of uh, mechanisms of delivery. I mean, mm -hmm. you can right, get right. into the major cities, to the Beijings, to the Shanghais, but yeah. how would you get to some of those uh, secondary and tertiary markets in an India right. where you are active? Well, I mean, so that's actually one of the things. Uh, eBay is actually uh, has some experience in India as well, and it's. Uh, um, we've also looked at some marketplaces. Uh, there from the Omidyar network side to take a look at um, what can we do to, uh, for example, create a marketplace around uh, mobile phones, mm -hmm. using mobile phones to, to access. And um, yes, the postal system is probably not as, as uh, good and well developed as it is in uh, the United States, uh, but there's still means to get goods uh, uh, back and forth. You have regional, um, uh, uh, um, you know, regional and geographically focused uh, efforts that, that are probably more effective in those areas.